Alright guys, let me catch up on stuff. Okay, so you guys know my weight loss, I'm still hovering around 27, 28 pounds lost. Uh, I'll let you know when that needle moves, I'm in another plateau. I think I'm on my second plateau, you know how it is with weight loss. But everything's going great, my counselor is great, profile by Sanford's great, I feel great, I've got more energy, um, just everything's better. There's no pain throughout my body, I love it. So thank you profile by Sanford for this eating plan. Uh, it's a long time coming, all right? Now, let's get to the cookware. Are you guys ready? Yeah, everybody knows this is my number one cookware. I'm gonna come right off. I, I bought this at, I didn't even know why I bought it. It was called The Rock, and this is the cookware, and nothing sticks to it. It's crazy. I got skillets above my head. I got pots. I got other skillets. I got tons of stuff, but The Rock is the best cookware I've ever cooked with. I can't say enough about it. It's by a company called Starfrit. So I found out they have a new cookware, as you can see right in front of me, that's stainless steel. But the beauty is the inside is still the rock surface. So nothing will still stick to the inside. The biggest problem with stainless steel, it's beautiful, but it's hard to clean the inside of a stainless steel pan. Well, not with this. I don't believe we're going to find out. We're going to test it like we did this cookware and we're going to check it out. So if you have a stainless steel kitchen, this may be the set to go with. This is just an eight piece set. The one I did before and the one I'm madly in love with was a 10 piece set, I believe, or a 12 piece set. But this one, uh, it's got four pieces and who knows, you may get both sets and mix and match. I'm not sure how your kitchen looks, but, um, I'm excited. So let's break this open and I'll show you all the pieces. This is your 10 inch frying pan, two quart sauce pot. There's a three quart sauce pot and a five quart sauce pot. Basically, this is your kind of your Dutch oven. Okay. Um, as you can see, they're beautiful outside. Uh, you can see that they're, they've got stainless steel on the outside. Here, let me show you. But you can see the inside still got the rock coating, which allows for an stick. It's still got the little steam holes on all the lids so that no pressure builds up. You got the lid on the 10 inch frying pan. This is beautiful. This, uh, stock pot is like my favorite. I think, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I think I'm falling in love with this more and more. I wish they had more pieces. This is an eight piece to where I like my, uh, what was it? 10 or 12. I can't remember. I think it was a 12 piece that I had. Yeah. It's 12. Yeah. Yeah. That was a 12 piece that I had. I love that just as much. So, but this is beautiful. And this for you guys that have a stainless steel kitchen, your dishwasher, your fridge, and your microwave, this will match that. This will be beautiful. You'll love this set. So let's give this a try. Let's put it to the test. I'm going to um, bring the camera over to the stove, and we're going to do our regular uh, cooking the egg to see if it still disperses. Oh, by the way, another plus for this set. On the bottom, if you look, let me show you real quick. See on the bottom? This is for induction also. This will work on induction, okay? So that's another plus if you have an induction stovetop. If you don't know what induction is, go ahead and look it up and you probably don't have it. But anyway, uh, this will work on all stovetops. Uh, let's put it to the test. So we're going to light this up. Remember every time you light a flame, check it. Yep, the flame's going. Why do I do that? So you don't fill it so it's not out and gas is pouring into the kitchen and you have a big explosion, okay? So you want to be careful about that. And look, you got a nice lid. Look at that. That's nice. So what we're going to do is we're literally got some scrambled eggs here and we're going to pour that in the pan to see how evenly it heats and distributes heat. See if it cooks evenly or not. That's my first thing. So I look for like heavy spots, heavy brown spots. And uh, so we'll give it a minute and let it warm up. As for this test, I'm not putting any 
any butter or oil or anything in. I'm just gonna pour my stuff in. The whole goal is to see how even this cooks. So let's fill it all with egg. I'm gonna put a lid on this so it cooks the top there. And we're purposely gonna brown it, probably get it a little darker. I wanna see how even it cooks it, okay? All right, guys, I'm noticing one little thing here. It's a little, little thin in the middle. I'm, I'm just going to cook this for beyond normal. It looks like it cooked pretty well on top, too, with the lid. So we're going to take this out and examine it and turn the heat off. I'm going to put it out of here, get it off the heat. And we're going to throw this on a plate and see how it works. All right, guys, let's take a, take a look at this egg. I want to show you what's going on. So this section here was a little thin, had a little bit of an air bubble that kept it off the pan. Had I punctured it, it probably would have browned just like the rest of the egg. But every part of the egg browned evenly. And that's a great sign. The, the egg that was on the pan, this was lifted up off the pan because it had an air bubble in the center. But all this brown is perfect. There's no heavy dark spots. It's pretty equal. Which tells me that the pan disperses heat equally. So now we're going to cook a regular fried egg, uh, put a little butter in there, and see if uh, how it how it does. All right. Test number two. We're going to just do a fried egg. So get it lit. There we go. Check your flame. Yep, we're good. Okay. This time we're just going to put a little bit of butter in there. This is how you would normally cook an egg either butter, oil, or grease, however you've been raised to do it. We're going to let that, that butter naturally just melt. Okay, let's drop our egg in there. Just going to let it cook up. Let's take the pan. Look at that. Should I should I do it? Should I do it? There we go. Whoops, do it again. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. I think I broke the yolk. I don't know. But this thing's sliding like ice. Literally. How fast can I get it going? Beautiful. Bone dry. Nothing's in it. This is just the stock pot. This is the, uh, whoops. This is the stainless steel stock pot. So, let's get ourselves a flame. We're going to do this dry. No grease, no butter, no nothing. Show you how nothing sticks to it. You ready? We'll give it a minute to get hot. All right, guys. My lovely bride gave me a little bowl of um, some chocolate chips. So we're going to... Whoops. I actually spilled chocolate in a hot pan with nothing to protect it. It's just going to melt. I'm going to let it melt. Then I'm going to show you. We're going to film taking it off. All right, guys, you can smell the burning chocolate. It's burning where it sits right now. Just so you know. It's not the best of smells, burnt chocolate, but I walked away for a moment and my chocolate's burning. Oh, my goodness. What am I going to do? It's smelling really bad in here, but it's best to let it cool down. Don't try and clean it right now. Let that all cut, take it off the burner, even though the burner's off. 
but take it off the burner so it doesn't keep taking heat off the burner and let it cool down completely and then we're going to try and remove it. It's cooled off. Can I touch the pot now? Yeah. It's cooled off. Let... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Look at that. Just touch it. The whole... Oh my gosh, guys. Whoops, little crumb there. There you go. It all came out. Oh my gosh. I'll set that over here. You got it? Okay. Let's pull these other crumbs out. Look at that. One wipe. Oops. One wipe with a with a napkin or towel and you're literally out of the box. Is that awesome? Oh my goodness. That's the rock. That's the cookware. I don't care which one you get. You can get the diamond one. You can get the, the diamond edition. You can get the stainless steel one. You can get the original one that I bought. I just went, beep, one little, beep, and all the chocolate just moved. All the melted, burnt chocolate just flicked right off. It was unbelievable. Cooks eggs great. Cooks everything great. So I'm about ready to wrap things up because we got a big storm moving in right now. So I will wish you guys the best. I highly recommend you buy this for you or the love in your life because you have so much fun cooking with this. I love Starfret. Uh, they have so many other devices go on their website. I've got a big stock pot that I haven't even showed you. It's like this big. It's huge. I'm going to use that for one of my upcoming jarring videos. Not sure when that's going to happen. But hang in there. I love you. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Oh, by the way, there'll be a link down below if you want to get your stainless steel edition, okay? I love you guys. Bye.